And I see that a lot of the people stay away from fuzzy logic. I think that's a very important thing. Actually, in life, there is nothing concrete. Everything is fuzzy. If you're driving from here to somewhere else, you never know. You're always thinking fuzzy. If this road gets blocked, I'm going to go this way. So, and uh, the first thing we did uh, in my master's thesis was we are plotting spectral curves for vegetation. There is nothing like a unique spectral signature. It's always a family of members. That's the advantage actually Definians brought to this remote sensing technology is to program that when you say a human, let's say my body temperature is normal, it's never 98.7 or 98.4. It can be 98 to 99 is normal. You can program that kind of a knowledge and still say that if it is within this range, it's, you can still say it's healthy. Then if you start deviating, that's where the fuzzy logic comes in. Maybe 100 to 102, you don't need to go to your doctor if that's the, your decision. Anything over 102, you need to go to your doctor. You can program that fuzzy logic and, and, and understanding the phenomenology and combining with the fuzzy logic is the best way to give yourself a probability saying, I am 90% confident that this particular classification is accurate. And the, the way we have used that at pictures, we use, still use it at pictures is, um, sometimes the objects can be classified, 95% it is built up area. Oh, 87% is still bare soil. We run a process that says, show me all the objects where two or more classes have more than 80% probability. And those are manually or visually checked to ensure that whatever classification it is. Thank <laughs> you.